This is the proposal for my music magazine. I'm going to be making a rock music magazine for the ages of 16 to 35. My magazine will be aimed at both genders, however my primary audience will be females as I'm going to analyse some of the fashion and makeup choices that specific rock artists wear. My target audience will be ABC1 as they have a disposable income so they will be able to afford my magazine when it comes out every month. My audience would have a passion for music and everything to do with it, such as listening to it, going to music gigs and festivals and keeping up with the latest music via social media or in music magazines like mine. Music would be a very big part of my audience's life, almost like a hobby, along with dance, fashion and films. Fashion and makeup would have to be an important part of their lives as some of the content of my music magazine will about, be about fashion and makeup choices that the artists wear and the reasons behind their looks. So if my audience aren't interested in these things, then there's no point in them reading my magazine. At the weekends, my target audience would either go to Camden, go shopping or to a music gig or festival to do with rock. I'm going to be creating a magazine with a front cover, content page and two double page spreads. My inspiration for my magazine is Q Magazine and specifically the edition from 2010 with Cheryl Cole in it as I really like the main artist image and the colour scheme used. On my front cover I'm going to use a masthead that is very simple either in the top left corner or across the top of the page depending on the length. Uh, it will either be red, white or black or purple because these are the main four colours I associate with the rock music genre. Also on my front cover, I'll be using a close-up image of a woman looking straight at the camera with a serious facial expression uh, and the background will either be plain white or black and the cell lines will be down both sides. Now my cell lines will either be black if they're on a white background or white or red if they're on a black background so that the colours contrast and they stand out well. The content page will have lots of pictures with large numbers on it uh, so that you can link the image to the page number that it's on in the magazine. Uh, there will also be some cell lines or some summaries of what you can find on each of the pages. One of my double page spreads will have one page full of information and the other page will be a main artist image um, and the main artist image will have a full body shot so that I can analyse the outfit of the rock artist um, so I can really get into depth about the analysis of fashion. Uh, in Q Magazine, they include a massive letter in the background that links to the first initial of the artist's name. So, for example, if it was on Eminem, it would be a massive E. And if it was on Cheryl Cole, it would be a massive C in the background. And I think this looks really effective, so I'm going to include it in my magazine as it includes a splash of colour to the background. Um, on my second double page spread, I will either have both pages with information on them, um, and possibly a slightly faded image in the background of my main artist to show that it has a bit of colour in it. Um, this second page will probably be in the style of an interview as I know quite a lot of people prefer reading interviews to just chunks of information. For my publishing house, I'm going to be using Anthem Publishing because it doesn't have a modern rock magazine which is the theme of my magazine. This publishing house includes a guitar and bass magazine, a classic pop magazine and a vintage rock magazine. These three magazines are very similar to mine, however none are exactly the same, which is helpful as the audience of the website and the publishing house will be interested in reading my magazine, as they wouldn't have had, uh, they wouldn't have had anything like this before, and if the genre is similar to ones they've read before, they might be interested. I'm going to make my artists wear black, red or purple as these are the most common colours that rock artists wear. Um, I believe my model is going to be a female, um, therefore I'm going to apply dark eye makeup and lipstick to make her look even more rocky and really emphasise the rock genre. I'm going to use a photo of my artist staring straight at the camera with a serious facial expression as this is the most common image that I found when I was doing similar product research. Um, and as Q is my inspiration, most of their images were either a extreme like face close up or a mid shot. 
so I would prefer to do a close-up. The colour scheme of my magazine will be black, red, purple and white because these are the four main colours I associate with the rock music genre. I'll be using red for the masthead of my magazine and for the titles on the different pages so that it stands out from the dark texts that I'll be using for the rest of the information and it adds splashes of colour to the page. As the photos I will be taking are going to be quite dark, I'll be using white and red text to write over them, um, whereas when it comes to the actual double page spreads, I'll most likely be writing in black if the background is a bit lighter, or if it's a white background, I'll be writing in black so that you can easily read the text and so that people that are visually impaired can also be able to read it no matter what 